This is a Mobius strip. It's a very important shape in math because it's a one-sided surface. All you have to do to make it is take a long rectangular strip, twist one end 180 degrees, and attach the ends together. But what do you think would happen if instead I cut it a little bit off-center, about a third of the way into the edge? We end up with this. Two separate strips interlocking with each other. This is drag queen and self-described math queen. Kind Santos went viral on TikTok with her math riddles and explainers. Her videos have attracted millions of views. Santos's new book called Math in Drag. She investigates mathematical mysteries all while educating about the art of drag. Kind Santos joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you for coming in. So you write that math is a lot like drag. How so? Yeah, you know, people think that these are two such separate worlds. You know, math is all about rules and getting the right answer. Drag is art and art has no rules. But really the book is about all the ways that they overlap. And really higher level math is about thinking creatively and, mm. you know, questioning rules and stereotypes. Well, you say math and drag, they're both marvelous, whimsical, controversial, and never boring. So you started putting up these TikTok videos because you love math, as you said, when I used to be a girly boy. <laughs> Back when I was a little boy and was considered a girly boy, I always loved math. So you started putting up these videos as a fun thing for yourself to do, and what happened? Yeah, I mean, uh, math was always my favorite subject. Um, I happen to also be a drag queen. And I started just making these videos telling people riddles and sharing math because I, I want other people to, to experience the joys of math as well. But it caused some controversy though, kind, because people said, I don't know if she is the right person to be bringing math to kids. And to that, you say what? Um, yeah, I mean, as a kid, I used to think that I couldn't be taken seriously as a mathematician or a scientist because we all have these stereotypes in our mind of what a math professor would look like. Mm. What do they look like? Yeah, they look, um, I don't know, very straight, <laughs> very, you know, wearing a suit and tie. No offense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, people don't think that somebody they look, like, look Tony, like this can, yeah. can study math. math. Nobody could, huh. they wouldn't be wearing skills. that. No, uh -huh. but you know, anybody can study math. Doesn't matter what you look like. Mm -hmm. All that matters is what's in your head. Yeah. So why is the education system in this country apparently failing kids so much when it comes to math? Why is the math not in our kids' heads? You know, the way we teach math in schools, it's just all about memorization, getting the right answers, um, thinking like a calculator. But, you know, mathematicians don't have to think like a calculator. They have to be creative, they have to um, think innovatively, and they have to collaborate and work together. And that's not what we're doing in, in classrooms. You're one of these math is beautiful people, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's right. You can tell. <laughs> it comes off. No, very much so. I mean, I like, I like your backstory, too, because growing up, your parents said, okay, we get you're gay, but do you have to be that gay? Yes. Or, yeah, that was something one of your parents actually said to you. And you said, your philosophy now is when you're leaving the house, look in the mirror and then put something else on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you like that? I like that. I like that. <laughs> no matter what, just go ahead and put something else on. Because you embrace yourself and you really celebrate who you are and how you do what you do. That's right. You know, I, I love drag. I love dressing up. You know, why not? Why, why do we think that when we grow up, we have to, you know, not um, have fun anymore? Why can't we wear colorful costume. But you didn't like drag clothes. in the beginning, you said, Kai, in your book. No, I think when I was young, I, I didn't really know much about drag. It was sort of mysterious to me. But, you know, watching shows like RuPaul's Drag Race opened my mind up to, you know, drag queens just being artists. Yeah. And you yeah. see math in everything. Yes. Like, for instance. Like, for instance, this dress. How so? You know, you can take, if you want to sew a dress like this, you <laughs> yeah. want to use pi, which is the relationship between yeah, the circles. Pi. Uh -huh. Circumference your waistline and the diameter, uh -huh. which is the length of fabric that you need to cut. That's so interesting. <laughs> Utilizing pie, but also laying off the pie to fit the <laughs> no doubt. So what I got to do. That beautiful yeah. dress. Um, you write, infinity is enchanting, mystifying, and strange. And yet, even young children are able to grasp some notion of it as the idea of eternal life or Willy Wonka's everlasting gobstopper. I like this book because it's able to make information digestible that at some times, to kids and adults can seem daunting. I was one of those kids that math scared me. Me too. Nate. Because it's just, the, the numbers were so infinite and I felt like there were levels that I couldn't reach. Um, was that the point to make math a little bit more digestible? Yeah, this book is for people like you, for, for people who aren't you know, self-described math people. This isn't a textbook. It's about making math fun and making math understandable to, to everybody. Yeah. 
You have a really interesting and sweet meet cute with your husband, including yeah. a trip yeah. to the UK. Can you, can you tell? I love these kind of stories. Do you have, can you do it in 20 seconds? Oh my gosh. Well, I, he watched one of my YouTube videos. He slid into the DMs. And then we just started this long distance relationship. Uh, really long distance, but then you went to the UK to meet him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he's here right now. We we travel back and forth. Oh, hey. No, I met the, the husband. He goes, "Well, Gail, look at me." <laughs> uh, so he Very did the calculations yeah. on sliding in the DM. <laughs> he did the math, and it Percentage. equaled love. He Kind did Santos, the math. thank you so much. Math and drag on sale now. Congratulations. Thank you so much.